Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace, and today I'm going to be telling you how to set up a second chat using the 5zig mod. Before I get into my video though, I just want to congratulate the winner of my previous video's giveaway. Their name's on the screen right there, and as always, you can enter to win $10 million in-game money on Skyblock 1 server on Arkham Network by simply entering your in-game name in the comments below. So now, getting right into the video, I explained how to install the 5zig mod in my previous video, which you can see a link to in the upper right-hand corner right now. If you don't want to install all the extra mods that I explain how to install in my previous video, you can actually go to 5zig's website, which is in the description below, and they explain different ways of installing just that mod or that mod along with other mods. So once it's installed, all you have to do is go into options, then you want to click the 5zig mod, then you want to click server options, and then First, you wanna to go to second chat and you wanna make sure that visible is on on, not on off. It may be on off, you wanna switch that to on. The other settings, you can do however you please. Opacity is whether you can see through the chat or not. Focus height is just how high it is when you're on it. Unfocus is how high it is when you're not clicked onto it. You can scale it down or scale it up, however you wanna do, and you can choose how wide it is or whether you want the text all the way on the left or if you uh, don't. And so once you do that, you just wanna hit done and then you wanna to go to chat messages filter. This is where you set up your filter for what shows up in your second chat. As you can see here, I have quite a few filters set up already for myself. Uh, as an example, what you, would, what you would do is since you're setting it up from scratch is you would click add message and you would type in everything from scratch. But showing you as an example, what I'm gonna do is go to edit message on my filter for ace. So what you wanna do here is type in the word that you wanna filter out into your second chat. In my case, this one was ace. I put stars before and after ace. A star is a uh, wild card string and that means that anything before ace doesn't count and anything after ace doesn't count. I put a space here before ace because I don't want people's words like peace and face and things like that to come up. So I put a space, but originally I didn't have a space. And because I didn't have that space, I had to type in exceptions. And exceptions are words where even if it does have ace in the chat message, the chat message will not appear in your second chat if it has any of the exception words. So I had to start putting characters names in here that also have the word ace inside their name. Now see, because I have stars before and after ace in this example, for instance, this character's name has ace in the middle of it, but because it's there somewhere in the word, the entire chat message would show up. So I had to put different characters' names there. Uh, I had to put the word space, things like that. But then I later realized that if I put a space here, then I'll only see messages from people that are actually typing the word ace. There's still a chance that they might not be referring to me. Like if they're typing the word access and they spell it wrong, it'll still come up because it still starts with ACE if they, if they leave out the C, the extra C in access. But there's a lot less filters I have to put in that way. The other important thing you wanna do here is action. The action, originally when you first come into it and you start typing it in, it'll say ignore. That means that it won't show up anywhere. It'll, it'll actually erase it from your first chat, but it won't put it anywhere else. What you want to do is click that and change it to action print in second chat. That way, anything that matches your filter here will show up in the second chat that you have, aside from things that have exceptions. If it has the exception and you have print in second chat, then it'll actually stay in the first chat, even if it does match here. So then you just click done, then you have it set up. You can also set up other things. For instance, I have star star, arrow, and then me star. That means that anytime somebody actually sends me a private message, it'll show up in my second chat. I have the opposite so that if I send somebody a private message, it'll show up in my second chat as well. So that way I can see what I'm sending people for a longer period of time before it scrolls up out of the, uh, cause the first chat goes very fast. So usually things in the second chat will stay there for a longer period of time. I also have things like if people are paying me money, I can see that by doing star has received from star. And if someone warped to my island, we have star warped to your island exclamation point star. It's important that you don't make any typos in these kind of filters because if you make a typo, it will totally make the filter not work. You have to be careful about how you type your filters. So once you have all your filters set up, you can go back out of this, you can hit done, and you can uh, go back into the game. You can go to options from inside the game as well. In my case though, I was doing it from outside the game, so I'm gonna connect to Arkham Network right now to show you how the second chat works. So let's see the second chat in action. I'm gonna join the Stiblack server right now and I have my second chat activated. As you can see, people are already saying hi to me. It says Ace, Master Yoda says Ace, that showed up here. A lot of people are saying, hi, ball guy Ace, Ace, I love you. All these things are coming up. It also filtered out when I joined because there was an announcement when I joined and ball guy Ace is one of my filters, so that showed up as well. So as you can see here, all this stuff is showing up in my second chat. If I didn't have my second chat set up, it would all show up in my first chat and it would end up scrolling away with everybody else that's talking about other random things over here. So as you can see, setting up a second chat really helps. You can see when people are talking to you. You can also 
also set up your second chat however you want to filter out different things that you like. And so hopefully setting up your second chat will help you out a lot in game. And so that's actually gonna be it for this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, it would be awesome if you could click that like button down below. And also if you're not already subscribed, I'm gonna put a circle with my picture on it right in the middle of the screen right there. And if you could click that picture and click subscribe, that would be super awesome. That way you'll find out when I post my future videos and also when I go live, if I do any live streams. I'm also gonna put a video in the upper right hand corner right there and you can click that if you wanna continue watching some of my videos. Thanks a lot guys and until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace reminding you to embrace the baldness.